All right, hey, what's going on? This is Dan Keller. Welcome to another episode of Making Sense of the Market. Today is Saturday, January 21st, and I waited until this morning to produce this report for you because yesterday was kind of a big day. President Trump was inaugurated as the 45th president of the U.S., um, but that's not what I want to talk about right now. What I want to talk about is this. Last week, I put together a report explaining how FHA and HUD were, were reducing FHA's mortgage insurance requirements for 2017. Well, one of the first things that the Trump administration did is they put, they repealed that. Um, they put that on hold. So, disregard my, uh, my making sense of the market report from last week. What I want to talk about though, depending on, regardless of which party, uh, political party that you're affiliated with, um, I want to just shoot straight with you and I want to tell you what this means. Um, depending on which party you, you are affiliated with, you're going to add your own twist to this. I'm going to tell you that this doesn't mean, there's, this is not a big deal. Nothing bad is going to come out of this. What this simply means is um, the Trump administration is going to do a full audit of HUD. you got to understand, for every, this is a big deal. HUD is a big deal. For every 100 families that I help finance, about 40 of them, about 40 of them use FHA. So this is a big loan program. And so... The reason why you pay mortgage insurance is you pay with, with FHA is you pay into the reserve account for HUD to keep this program alive and available for people. And so they're just going to do a full audit of this, of HUD, of the program and see whether or not this is a good decision to lower the, pre, uh, the mortgage insurance premium. I think some good things will come out of this um, and I will keep you posted as soon as we start to hear uh, any more developments on this topic. Okay, since we're on private mortgage insurance, let's talk about it real quick. What is it? So basically, you have a mortgage balance and then you have a home value. The difference is your loan to value. If you have a loan to value or if you purchase a home and you put down less than 20%, you're required to pay private mortgage insurance. And what that is, is it's simply, uh, it's an insurance premium that you pay that protects us, the lender, against you defaulting. If you were to default, um, we would be protected. Now, if you put down 20% or more, it's not required. So that's kind of private mortgage insurance in a nutshell. I want to close with this today. I am every time I meet a new home buyer um, uh, to pre-approve them or I talk with past clients, they're concerned about I'm hearing rumors or gosh, appreciations continuing to fly. Are we heading toward a bubble? No, we're not. Keep your eye on these guys. These are cranes. As you pull into Seattle and Bellevue and Kirkland and certain cities, you're seeing a lot of construction. Cranes equal jobs. Job equals a good uh, employment economy. A good employment economy equals a good housing market. All the mortgages being originated since 2008 are full dock, 100% viable mortgages. And you combine that with a good housing market and a good economy, we're okay, we're not heading toward a bubble. I just got some information from one of the economists, one of the four economists that accurately predict, predicted the last housing crash in 2006. And one of the economists has said, we are not heading toward a bubble. The market is stable and he's extremely pleased with where it's at. So um, I hope this information helps. Listen, I'm gonna keep producing these reports for you. If you found this information valuable, please do me a favor and share it. I wanna be a resource for you, your friends, your family members, your coworkers. And um, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me and I look forward to chatting with you uh, next Friday. Take care.